So I had a request uh, from one of the viewers about uh, banding on the uh, Vizio P Quantum. And uh, I told him I'd run some tests and, uh, and I'll also look at some dirty screen effect. Um, you know, in case they're watching, anybody's watching hockey, baseball, football, but you know, the, the color test and then white balance. I, could, I ran a, a 5% uh, grayscale, a 10%, a 15, a 20. Didn't see any difference in, in the test that I'm going to show you. Uh, it was just easier to do it this way than have my laptop behind beside me hooked up to the to the TV. Uh, I have a little bit of limited time today, but so I'm just going to go ahead and use this test. It's actually uh, on YouTube. Uh, it's a test for banding and, uh, and a clouding test. So, and uh, I did run it on another TV. And uh, actually, <laughs> I hate to say this, but um, I'm kind of disappointed because. Uh, this TV looks way better. I did see some problems. When they tell you not to go peeking for it, you shouldn't go looking for it. Because sometimes when you do see stuff like that, you won't ever unsee it. So uh, you know, do that at your own risk. But I'm doing this test just to show um, that this, you know, they did a great job. Vizio did a great job. I Like I said before, I must have hit the panel lottery because I don't have a whole lot of issues. Um, I've ran different multiple tests. Um, I'm going to let it play through this video. It's going to going to kick into another one. Um, and it actually will uh, it'll test for vertical banding as well. But it's going to have some content on the screen uh, that will change. Uh, you know, and we're going to look at the, you know, dirty screen effect as well, like I said, because uh, that would pop out with that video as well because of the colors and things that are going into it. And that's what that test is set up for. So, uh, as you can see, I'm not seeing a whole lot. I'm going to have to take a look at the video, of course, after the fact. Um, it looks like in the back of my camera right now, I can see possibly to the right a faint line every once in a while. But when I look up at the TV, I'm, I'm not seeing it. Like, well, I'm really got to really, really look for it. Yeah, there, there, yeah, there, it is a little bit, but... Yeah, nothing pronounced. I mean, nothing. I've seen TVs where I was watching a hockey game, and all you see is big lines going across the screen, like when they're skating down through. All you see is boom, boom, and it drives you nuts. So I'll let you watch this one here. This is another video that's you know gonna be, look for all kinds of banding issues, as well as you know you can take a look for color banding, even in the skies, things like that. Sorry, I wanted to turn that down real quick. So I wanted to get this up so the individual that asks can, can see it uh, and anybody else who really wanted to know, but I'm not having any issues with that. Um, not any sports on fields uh, or anything like that. Uh, fast pace, I do not see banding going across the screen. No vertical banding at least uh, in content. Um, And if there's another test that you guys want me to run, just let me know. Um, if you have any, you know, if there's something specifically that you want me to run for anything, uh, I'll be more than glad to do it. Like I said, just leave it in the comments. Um, always there to help you guys. So now here you go with some grayscales. Uh, now I went down lower in the grayscale, and here it's dropping down uh, percentage-wise. And you you will see it in blues and greens a lot of times worse than in the grayscale, so, um, which like I said, I didn't see any in the grayscale test. But I just used my thumb drive a while ago because to be honest with you, I had limited time today and I was kind of lazy just threw it through it in the back of the TV and just threw some test patterns up. But I wasn't ready to record then and as you can hear, my kids are playing in the background. They're all out there playing a board game, so. I'll leave this play. Like I said, just leave in the comments if you want other tests done or you want to see something different. Uh, I have no problem doing that. I mean, I, 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 did not, I didn't fool around with doing the 5, the 10, the 20, the 30. I, 
because it really wasn't showing me anything different than what the test was that I just ran. So I was like, you know, this is, I don't want to say quick and dirty. I'm not trying to cheap out on you guys, but it didn't show me any difference. Uh, the TV, I just don't have banding, vertical banding. Or, you know, so. And I really don't have any dirty screen effect, which I'm really quite happy about that, to be, to be quite honest with you. I just think they really did a good job. And I got lucky with a great panel because there's some people in discussion that says that they do have it. Um, as far as blooming, I'm gonna go into uh, uh, some more of the videos. I've been looking at some different stuff, different content to try to put up because a other individual was speaking about, he's having some blooming in games and, and I'm not having that. So I'm gonna have to go in and test like fours of four and Maybe I'll even use uh, Forza Motorsport uh, 7 because I also have that. But I'll go in Forza 4 to see if I can get some dark night screens where, like, maybe um, over on the island um, by Horizon Challenge where I, we got all those beautiful colors to look at uh, at night. But once again, you know, appreciate you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe, and uh, I will be talking to you later. Um, video's got about three more minutes left, and I'm going to just stop this, and I'll get this uploaded for you guys. Take care.